Hi, my name is Glenn Hustleman. I'm just making this video for the users of free accounting software to show you guys how to do your year-end single touch payroll processing. So I've just set up this organization. I've just created one batch um, here. So um, you'd have more batches because you'd be paying this employee throughout the year. Um, but just for this demonstration, I've just set up one. And that's the May 2019 batch. So what I'll do is just add the final um, pay for the year, which is going to be the June 2019 pay. So just create a batch. Um, now let's say the payment date is the 15th of June 2019. The pay period runs from the 1st of June 2019 to the 30th of the 6th 2019 save the batch, go to batch transactions and add a pay slip. So um, this is just, uh, sorry, i just resize this um, here because um, yeah, if, you, if you resize the screen too narrow it, it tries to fit it into one column. Okay, so um, this is just your normal pay slip for the, um, as, as you would do. So I'll create select the employee um, just going to pay normal time now let's say I'm just paying five thousand a month here the system's calculating the tax and um, there is this section here pay event info I've talked about this a lot more in the um, single touch payroll lodgement video um, and and this is the information that goes to the ATO down the bottom you've got year to date amounts so it's quite important to get them right because that, that'll be what's um, um, used by the employee in doing their tax return. So um, it normally it's year to date. If, uh, if you're doing the last pay of the year, it's obviously the full year as well. Okay, so um, the, f the thing to do on the final pay is you have to set this this flag here it says final pay for financial year defaults to no um, you need to change it to yes and that's what will let the ATN know that this is the final pay and um, and that might be referred to as a finalization or something like that um, so anyway um, that's the only thing different that you need to do in the uh, final pay for the year um, now, if you didn't do that, I'll, I will later show you how to um, do an update event to address that. But in, just before I do that, let's finish this process off um, and go to the single touch payroll lodgement page. And um, over here, you can see the um, all the details. These payroll totals here are the totals for the single batch. Okay, so that's not you today, and that's correct. Um, so to lodge this just select the uh, box to agree to the declaration I've just got some test credentials here for the ATO test system and um, put your OzKey so, but select your OzKey and put your password in and then click lodge STP batch now um, I don't think you can see the messages at the bottom of the page, but it just says single touch payroll send complete, waiting 60 seconds, and then retrieving messages. Okay, so um, we'll just wait. Hopefully everything will be okay, and then we will get the okay. And if that's the case, then you're done. You don't need to issue a pay-as-you-go payment summary. Um, that is is all you need to do. Um, All right, so finally, um, we've, it's, the page is refreshed after 60 seconds and we've got the OK message 
um, there. So now, um, as I mentioned, that's all you need to do. You don't need to issue a pay-as-you-go payment summary. However, if you uh, d did not um, um, flag that last pay slip as the final one, or um, for some reason you needed to adjust the amounts, um, you, you'll have to uh, lodge what's called an update event. So um, let's have a look at how to do that. Okay, so we've got the um, two original batches here. You have more for your full year. Um, let's just create another batch for the update event. Um, and I've just called it June 2019 update. You could call it whatever you like. Now this is important. The payment date should be the 30th of June. Um, the from date should be the 30th of June and the to date should be the 30th of June. So it's everything to the 30th of June. You might be doing this on say the 2nd or the of July or the 10th of July or wherever at some other time um, but the, all those dates need to be 30th of June. Okay, now we go and add a pay slip. Alright. Um, select the employee. Now, we're not actually um, doing a, uh, a payment on this pay slip. Um, so I'm just going to delete this line. The system adds this blank line. Um, you just select it and click uh, delete selected lines to remove it. Um, now what it's going to do is, so this is a pay slip, it's got zero dollars being paid to the employee. And what it's going to do is um, um, just update this pay event info and bring in your year to date amounts. Okay. Um, now, the flag final pay for financial year, you will want to change that to yes. Okay. So if you, if you do an update event and you don't change it to yes, then um, then you haven't finalized it. So um, you're going to have to do it again. Um, anyway, um, so now you want to check the year to date amounts. If you're doing an update event because um, because the, the previous amount was wrong, um, a little bit of a trick is you can't change the amounts on this pay slip because then it'll have a payment associated with it. So you need to actually create or fix the original pay slip or create an additional pay slip and, and fix it there. In any case, um, once you've uh, got this sort of zero dollar pay slip um, and the year to date amounts correct, final pay for financial year has to be yes, then save that um, and then go back to the STP Lodge page, um, tick the box to agree to the declaration. Um, again, I'm just using this test credential. Um, put in your OzKey password. Just typed it wrong. Hang on a second. Okay, now um, there is no, uh, this Lodge button is greyed out. Okay, so one thing that's different about this update event is there's no payroll totals because there's no pay on this batch. Um, and so that's blank. The lodge button is grayed out and you get this update STP batch button. So let's click that. Now down the bottom it says single touch payroll send complete waiting 60 seconds then retrieving messages.
Okay, so we've got the OK uh, green message, which is great to see. And um, I suppose one other thing to note is that it's not necessarily just going to take 60 seconds to to do this. I'm doing it in the test system. In this system, it generally takes the 60 seconds. Um, but if it's busy, it could take the ATO longer to process it. But if after 60 seconds it doesn't retrieve messages, it will you know, try again after another minute um, and have a few more goes. So, um, um, in any case, well, that's the update event and that's how you um, finalize your uh, payroll for your end using single touch payroll. Um, now, um, there is actually one other thing that um, I want to show you for year end processing and that is this so now that you've finalized your payroll you want to start the new financial year okay so if you click on setup and my business details um, you could just go and change these ledger start and end dates um, and and that would be okay um, you'd have all your history of your transactions in there and it could build up and 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 be just too much volume so there is this open a new financial year button that I've just created and there's some instructions that tells you what it actually does when you do this it basically um, purges out the old transactions and um, and and yeah that's basically it so you click this save as new file um, that'll pop up a box which will um, uh, prompt you to choose a location and a file name to save it as um, so it leaves your original file intact um, unchanged and and puts it into a new file um, uh, with the transactions cleaned out and ready to start the new financial year um, yeah other than that there's uh, no other year-end processing that you will need to do um, so yeah good luck anyway i uh, hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching